It's one of the world's worst economic collapse in history. At least two million Lebanese are struggling to put food on the table. That's nearly half the population. The situation is no different among the hundreds of thousands of Syrian refugees living here. We don't have enough food at home because my father doesn't earn much money, so we get food from here. Cases of malnutrition nearly unprecedented in this once middle-income country are on the rise. A recent survey by the United Nations on children under the age of five is causing concern. Nine out of ten children are not getting the diversity of food that they need. Many children are actually going to bed hungry. Uh, for example, I spoke to a child last week in a school and the child had just returned to school after a long, long absence, but the child had not eaten for two days. There are many similar stories. Basil says he is unable to provide the basics for his three children because work is hard to come by. In this household, they eat once a day and milk is substituted with water and sugar. Sometimes I collect plastic and cans from the streets to sell them. Sometimes I work as a cleaner, but the pay isn't enough to make ends meet. The nearly bankrupt government has been promising assistance to the most vulnerable for months. With the help of the World Bank, it will give cash assistance to 150,000 families. The program will help reduce the burden the Lebanese face from the difficult living conditions. Food prices have increased by more than 1,000 percent since the financial meltdown began in 2019. The war in Ukraine is making the situation worse. As wheat prices rise and authorities warn they may no longer be able to subsidize bread. Charities say they can no longer keep up with growing demands. They say those who used to assist now need help themselves. For now, we are feeding 850 people, but up to 1,500 people have approached us for help, and we can't do anything. The poverty rate continues to rise in the absence of a government economic recovery plan. Already, 94 percent of children aged six months to two years are not getting enough food. Zenachuder El Jazeera, Beirut.